Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wildcats have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Hearn has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. It's fielded at the two. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. receiver tackle made at the 43 this passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback they use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend nice run there good for a game of six yards that'll make it second and four Gets it to the tight end. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they push him out at about the 19-yard line. That brings up second and one. Man left, man left. Makes it to the eight. Call it again for 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Great 
Big pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. And this is the 10th play of the drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From the eight-yard line, it's third down. Rose, complete touchdown. drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. And for Kansas, they've lost as a tough one, eliminating them from bowl eligibility. The Red Raiders prevail by a deuce. All right, Reese, back to our game. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. throw to the tight end. Brought down in the open field. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He laterals the ball. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. That'll bring up 36. And here's a quick throw. Gunn was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of us. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the last time. Brought down around the 41-yard line. First down. Arizona up seven points. Caught him, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 43-yard line. They'll give it off here. Makes it out to about the 29. Call it again, 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Third and five. Ball on the 24-yard line. Five wide. Let's go. 
He fires this one. Tackle right around the two-yard line. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Touchdown, Arizona. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Horned Frogs arrive at today's game ranked 24th in the country. And for North Texas, they reach the end zone on the ground. The Horned Frogs are on top, 17-14. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 46. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Taken down at about the 49. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. We played one quarter. The Wildcats lead 14-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. That's great discipline and play calling on the defense's part on that series. Everything clicked for them. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Yardage. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and two. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. To the 20. And they finally make the stop at the six-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Touchdown, Wildcats. And he adds the extra point. So a four-play, 80-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, that is scoring. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the score now, 21-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Ryan fields it at the one. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line.
It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. They gained five yards there. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. There's a strike complete. He's at the 30. Tackle made around the 19-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. him down behind the line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Second and 13. Ball on the 22. The junior makes the catch. And down he goes at about the 11. Spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. Passes. Tight end's got another one. That brings him second and goal. From the two-yard line, it's second down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 what a collision the wildcats are just cruising through this first half for be really a comfortable lead here yep but still a lot of football left to be played they got to remember that's a four quarter game and even though that first half went pretty well things can change in a hurry pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there Field. He steps out the 39 yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. Makes the catch and look out, and he is drilled at the 47-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. He scrambled, and he has it on the corner. And now he's going to run. 
He's pushed out of bounds at the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be That's called up? Defense. Defense. You're allowed to check a receiver downfield, but once the ball's in the air, you have to let go. From the 21-yard line, first down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check 82, watch 82. Ball's ready. Ball's on. Jones is going to take a receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Swings it out left to the halfback. They'll bring him down at the 19. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Receiver brought down before he can get there. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm. He did a good job of picking apart the defense. Johnson comes away with two yards on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and eight. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Wildcats lead it by two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Wood fields it at the three. And down he goes at the 25 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. That brings up second and 13. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 22. Steps up. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Brought down around the 47-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And they got him for a loss. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. From the 40-yard line, second down. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and he's level at the 40-yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Gets it out quickly. They'll drop him for a loss. With the catch. Mason makes the tackle at the 45 yard line. Fourth down. Phillips is the deep man awaiting the return. He fields the punt at the 13. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. The quarterback leads the back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Ryan brings him down at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Down, down. He fights forward to about the 33. and gets out of bounds. Gain of 14 yards. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Nice run there. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and two. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10. Tackle at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. Pitch out, got the corner. Touchdown, Arizona. And he 
hits the PAT. A nice six play, 80 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So our score, 48 7. Goff looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down to the 33 yard line. Arizona's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Seven yard line. Nice run there as they work the outside. Call it again in four yards. That'll make it second and seven. This may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That makes it fourth and four. be a touchback and we see this offense again after what you Kirk called a very physical touchdown drive well I say that Brad because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and it helped them get the score and see if they can do it again and he's tackled after positive yardage that brings him second and five Time to get the backup some experience as we head to the fourth quarter. 28 to 7, Wildcats. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Jones is taking the receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. Wood is back to receive. And he's tapping at the 36. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. Receiver and he dropped it. 
I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at the 49. middle got his back and down he goes right around the 40. and he tackles him hard at the 47. that's a loss of seven yards that'll bring up third and eight Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it. He's in space. He goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That brings us fourth and three. the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short The defense just made a good play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. After a decent run up the gut. That's a four that, makes that makes it second and six. six. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Ready? Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First down. Taken down at about the 21. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, First you've got something working. First and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From the 23 yard line, it's third down. Tackle made around the nine yard line. That's a team of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and goal. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 28 to 7, Arizona. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.